привела к полезным договоренностям. Посмотрим, конечно, как будет дальше развиваться события, как будут они развиваться. Тем более, что определенные силы в Америке пытаются принизить, дезавуировать результаты встречи в Хельсинге. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Russia's geopolitics and some of the challenges that it faces in dealing with other countries as well as how its natural geography affects these issues. Russia is gigantic. It is the largest country in the world and spans 5,000 miles across and 2,000 miles vertically. It is a country whose entire existence is defined by its geographic characteristics. It crosses 11 time zones and borders 14 different countries from Norway to North Korea and China. It is also as close to Alaska as it is to Amsterdam. It is important to remember that the vast majority of Russians live in Europe. Three quarters of Russia's population lives in the western quarter of the country. Therefore, as a country with a fairly centralized power system, many of its decisions go to protect the country's central areas in and around Moscow. The biggest problems presented in Russia's current iteration of geopolitics and potential threats lie in its basic geography. Russia's capital, Moscow, is relatively unprotected by common geographical features like mountain ranges. The road from Northern Europe to Moscow is almost entirely flat and would act as a funnel for enemy troops to attack from. Despite being the largest country in the world and having 23,000 miles of coastline, Russia has little to no maritime powers. Most of the ports in Russia are frozen for many parts of the year or are controlled by NATO countries. Having limited naval capabilities has limited Russia's economy and forces it to heavily rely on other countries in order to build up the economy. In 1991, the Soviet Union dissembled and a confederation of independent states were formed in its place. In the 25 years immediately following the breakup, a lot of civil unrest has built up and resulted in a multitude of different violent reactions. In the last decade or so, Russia has finally begun to stabilize itself and is building towards a bigger future. After centuries of being invaded and being at war, Russia seems to be stable with its international relations, with Sino-Russian relations currently at an all-time high and U.S.-Russian relations constantly improving, the future is seemingly bright for Russia.